Hey what is going on guys, it's CK here and today welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Now I thought I'd hop back on the game considering the fact that Forza Motorsport 6 is coming out in a couple of months time and the fact that we haven't played the game in a little while so what we're going to be doing is an old school drift build on an old school GDM classic, the Nissan Silvia S14. Now I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this one so we're just going to jump straight into it right now. So there we go, upgrade. Upgrade shop now. This is a good thing about Forza Motorsport 4. Everything's immediate. When you go into like all of the upgrades and stuff, you can just like change the engines really, really quickly. Whereas Horizon, it loads and loads and loads. So, yeah, I'm trying to think. Will we put in the R34 engine? Uh, will we or will we not? I'm not too sure. I'll tell you what, YOLO, we're going to do that. We're going to put that in. Drive train swap. It's rear wheel drive. That's what we're needing. So we're going to be taking this thing on for Jimmy Kaido as well, guys. So, yeah, that is one track that we need back in Forza Motorsport 6. But I highly, highly doubt it's going to come back. Um, but I don't know why, because that was one of the most popular tracks. You don't take one of the most popular things out of your game, do you? You only add to it. So, yeah, um, I've kind of got something in mind with this car. So, yeah, um, expect some pretty good things with this thing. So, what we go for? We'll go for the Innswing. Yeah, we're going to go for like a modern drift car with the massive wings and stuff, so... Yeah guys, the one subject today that I want to talk about is Forza Motorsport 4 being on the Xbox One with the backwards compatibility, so... Do you guys want that? Because I certainly do. I really, really do want that, because... Um, it's currently not on the list of the ones that are going to be making the way onto the Xbox One at the end of the year, but... I think there is a petition somewhere which you guys can sign. I'll try and find a link to it. And um, I'll leave it in the description below so you guys can actually fill it out. I've already, I've already filled it out, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, Microsoft, Xbox, bring Forza back over to Xbox One. Uh, Forza Motorsport 4, that's what I mean. So yeah, anyway, we've done that. That's okay. Now we want the tires and rims. We should go for the sporty ones. Oh, yes. Uh, what width can we get for this thing? 225s, 235s in the front. That's okay. We're going to go for that. Uh, what we got in the back? I don't know. 235 to 45. That's actually not that bad. See, it's like quite a nice like distribution in terms of like tire width. Now, I've got a pair of rims in my mind. I'm trying to remember which make it is from again. Pretty sure it is coin rims. I'm not too sure if it is. Yeah, it is. It is these ones, I think. Pretty, pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. These ones. Oh my god, it suits this car down in absolute T. Really does now. I'm a little bit disappointed, guys. Forza Horizon 2 isn't getting DLC this month. No, it isn't getting it this month. God damn it. But yeah, I think we'll slap 19s on this. That looks amazing. God damn it. Um, but yeah, we're not getting DLC this month for Forza Horizon 2. Uh, I think that is the end of the DLC of it. We've got a pretty good run of it, but now it is all focused on Forza Motorsport 6. So, yeah, I cannot wait for the game. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, uh, things to actually say about it that we don't already know, because, I mean, it's essentially, as I said in the last episode, or the first episode of Wheel Drive earlier today, it's kind of like Forza 5 2.0, but we don't know yet, we haven't played it yet, so, well, at least I haven't. People that went to E3 and stuff might have played it, but, yeah, I haven't played it yet, so, you never know, you never know, we might be completely wrong, there might be something that Turn 10 is hiding up their sleeves. Wow, that looks nice, that looks nice when the suspension is down, bruh, that is very, very nice now. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this car to come back into the Forza series. I'm wanting it as well, honestly. I'm really, really wanting this car to come back. But for some reason, Turn 10 actually haven't put it in. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. It is really, really weird. So, yeah, if anyone from Turn 10 are actually watching this, then come on, make your fans happy again. I mean, I'm generally not complaining. I can take it or leave it, right? But for the people that really want this car... I'm sure it'll be easy enough to actually just do like a, a re-rendered version of it, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, you can probably just go out in the street and try and find a S14 from like one of the owners. I'm sure they'll give you it for like a laser scan. 
Because you've already got one. You've already got one for, like, Forza Motorsport 4. So, yeah, I don't see the big deal, bruh. I don't see the big deal. So, yeah, I hope it's in the game from the start and not just, like, DLC. Because that would be quite irritating. That would be very irritating. So, because um, I don't know if you guys, like, agree with me on that. But the DLC for Forza it is good, right? But some of them are recycled. Which is pretty, pretty annoying. So, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be actually adding in all of the cars from Forza Horizon 2, Forza 5 and from the get-go, but you never know, they might be bringing some back because the GMC Vandura's already in, uh, which is pretty good because that's been in multiple DLC packs and I'm trying to think of any others that are normally in DLC packs, the CRX is in, so yeah, we get quite a lot of DLC cars from Forza Horizon 2 in Forza Motorsport 6, so yeah, that has been the build, guys. We are going to go ahead and paint this thing right now. So, I'm pretty sure that said round about 1,005 horsepower. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and do the differential tuning. 85%. Oh, yes, 85%. Yeah, yeah. And where's the springs? Down we go. There we are. And alignment. I'm not too sure if we put camber on this. We'll put... Put negative one camber on it, that's what we'll do. Just to get it a little bit more. Slidey, slidey, oh yes, slidey, slidey. Paint, uh, what we go for? Yeah, yeah, that's what I know, I know what I'm gonna do. My designs, I've already downloaded the paint job for it, guys. Yep, it is the Falcon one. Oh my god. It's, it's actually the James Dean one, the actual drifter, guys, so. Yeah, he's a really, really good drifter. I actually watched the X car video on him, and he's amazing. He's really, really good. So let's see how this thing looks overall. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. Fujimi is calling, guys. So let's get to it. So before we jump onto the track, guys, I just want to say if you do enjoy this video. Please do hit that like button, it just shows me that you guys are enjoying them. Let's aim for 300 likes on this video, that'd be much appreciated. Without further ado, let's go ahead and drift this bitch around the Japanese mountains. So, forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty at drifting in Forza 4, I was trying to say Forza Horizon 2 there, but yeah, it's been a long time, man. It's been a long day without you, my friend, oh my god, oh god. <laughs> Jesus! Bloody hell, I nearly forgot I believe transferred the Skyline R34 engine into this. Oh my god! Very, very slidey. Very, very slidey indeed now. I kind of want to actually turn on the drift points. There we go, I fixed that. I needed to put the lap time in position on as well, so... Yeah, I only just turned on the points in Forza Horizon 2 the other day again, because I kind of missed looking at how much drift points I actually get when I'm going in the corners and that, so... And it's something else for you guys to look at as well. Oh, Jesus. Now, I'm generally trying to concentrate so don't slam this thing in the freaking wall. There we go. Just tap it. Tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. There we go, there we go, that's it. Yes. See if we can get up to 5,000 drift points. Yes, there we go. Keep the chain going, boys. Keep the chain going. Pick up any fourth, maybe. Yep, that'll do. Yeah, I'm actually surprised how controllable this thing is for having. Like freaking over 1,000 horsepower. Because normally on a rear wheel drive car that has that sort of power, you're like skitting about all over the place. But this thing is actually not that bad. It might have something to do with the tyres. Because they are like 315s. So, yeah, I think it's 315s. I'm not too sure. 230. I don't really know. I can't remember. Logic, bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, this is the corner that I don't like. This is the one that I nearly always slam into the freaking wall at. My love, my darling, I hunger for your touch, Fujimi. Oh, <laughs> holy shit, it feels good to be back on this, man, seriously. I mean, it's kind of like nostalgic, because this was like my most played game on the Xbox 360, and ha oh, ha, Forza 5 had nothing on this. It had nothing on this, and I presume that Forza 6 still won't, unless they finally, like, bring the magic and the spirit of this game into it, because they're not actually doing clubs in Forza Motorsport 6. What? Seriously, when I heard that, I'm like, you've got clubs in Forza Horizon 2, so 
why are you taking out the thing? Why are you taking them out of the game? So, they're actually taking more things out of the game than they are putting in the freaking game. Okay, we've got, uh, we've got Blooming Wet Weather, we've got Day and Night, and that is about it. Apart from that, there's new tracks, new cars. That is the only thing, really, that we're getting with Osmo Sports 6. So, I know there's a new league system, but don't take the clubs out, bro. Don't take the clubs out, man. In the club, in the club, in the club, so... Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't you tap it. Don't you tap my rear end, bruh. Okay, wee bit. Wee bit too... Anxious, or wee bit too ambitious. That's the word I'm trying to say on that corner there. Now, I wasn't the best, like, drifting on this track before, and I'm not the best now, so... <laughs> I know that some of the comments are saying, Oh, you're shit drifting in this freaking track. Yeah, it wasn't my main track. Sukuba was more my track, seriously. Oh my god. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Kick up in the fifth. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been saying, I'll oh, do more drifting focus videos, so... Yeah, whenever I'm on Forza Motorsport 4, whenever I'm doing a drift build on Forza Horizon 2 and stuff, I'm going to properly focus it back on drifting now, so... Yeah, <laughs> that is kind of what it says in the title there, is the drift build, but... Yeah. Where's the waterfall? It's coming up, there it is! My favourite part of the track! God damn, man! God damn, now! I know a lot of you love this car out there, man. The S14 it is a legend in the JDM scene. And, to be honest, when I was a kid and when I was playing this game for the first time and that, I didn't really like the S14, but now I really, really like it. I mean, is there not like two versions of the S14? Because like, oh my god, Jesus Christ! Because the rear lights on this one, I'm not really a big fan of it, so... I know this is the Club K edition, so... Yeah, it may have something to do with that, but... Yeah, uh, the S14, the normal one... I really, really like that. I really like the back lights on that, so... Anyway, I think we're going to jump into cockpit view. Try and get some sideways action in this. A twin turbo man! Oh! God, it's bloody eargasm! Get the wall! Oh my god. Jesus, come on, come on, come on. That's it, that's it. Go now, go now. Oh man, this is brilliant. This is brilliant, this car. I mean, no! No, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, do that again. Hopefully, we don't spin this time. Yes, that's it now. That is it now. Other thing about Forza Motorsport 6, they are starting to do weekly car reviews, guys, so. Let me know in the comments below, do you want me to do like an episode per week, kind of updating you on the list? Now, I used to do that when Forza Horizon 2 came out, like the weekly car reviews, so I might actually start that up again, just letting you guys know. So, I think they actually review around about 20 cars per week, maybe more than that, so yeah, just let me know in the comments and I will gladly do that, bruh. I will gladly do that now. Other thing I wanted to talk about in this episode is that I have got the day off for the Scottish Car Show, guys. It is on July the 19th. That is, I think it's not next Sunday, but the Sunday after that, so if you do live in like the Glasgow, Edinburgh, or Scotland, or Scottish area, the Scotland area, then let me know if you're going, because I am going to be going with Andy, so yeah, we're going to be recording everything, I'm going to be making like a montage of all the cars and stuff, but we'll probably do a vlog and everything there as well, so yeah, you guys might even be in the video as well if you come up and say hi to us, so yeah, if you ever do meet me outside of like um, YouTube and stuff, just in real life, then yeah, come up and say hi. And I'm, I'm not one of these people who say, "Be gone from me, <laughs> be gone." I'm not like that. Just come up and speak to us, man. Oh, don't lose it. Oh, <laughs> you can just feel it go there, man. You can feel it go. Now it's strange hopping from Horizon Two onto this case. Horizon Two, you can literally just get anything sideways, but with Forza Four, you kind of need to work with it a little bit more. Kind of need to concentrate. That's it. That's it now, bruh. That's it. Keep her sideways. Keep her sideways. That's it. I was wondering why it was giving me no points there. Yes, I am sideways. Give me points for going sideways. Now we get to the tricky section. I hate this bit. Really don't like this bit, man. Oh. Right. Drop her down in a second. Oh, no. Oh, I lost momentum there. I lost momentum. The hell we go. Bad, not bad, could have been a little bit better there, so 
yeah, I'm going to try and do Forza Motorsport 4 videos like every week, guys, maybe on a Monday. Because um, I kind of want to make Monday like the Forza day. So I'll do a video on Horizon 2 and uh, a video on Forza 4 or even Horizon 1 if you guys want me to go back to it. So I, have, I want to drive my Eagle Speedster again. I've not driven that in ages and that's the only game that that is in. So turn 10, bring it back in Forza Motorsport 6, please. And Playground, if you're listening, Please, for the love of God, bring it back in Horizon 3, because I missed it. I've missed it so much, bruh. I've missed it so much. So, yes. Oh, my God. Ooh. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else to talk about in terms of Forza Motorsport 6 now. There's quite a lot of cars being revealed, guys. There is some new Formula E cars, I think. Like, um, I know we only had one in Forza Motorsport, uh, Forza Motorsport 5, so, yeah, uh, it's kind of weird how they're bringing all these esports cars in because they're essentially the same car but they've got like different libraries so I don't want them to go down the Gran Turismo route of bringing in like the exact same car but with different libraries but obviously Gran Turismo 6 has like 20,000 Mazda MX-5 so you know what I mean by that you know what I mean by that so let's see tunnel section third Sorry if I'm not commentating as much, guys, but I'm generally trying not to spin this thing out. So I get the best run possible. Oh no, the devil corner! The devil corner! This is my most hated corner on this track. It's nearly every time it spins out. Got it, nearly done it there. It nearly done it there, so I think we'll jump back out to the outside view just for this section of the track. Ooh, yes, okay. Oh, that was nearly a wall tap there, man. That was nearly a wall tap. Here we go, the nice hairpin sections. 6,000 points. Not bad indeed, so... I'm thinking about doing the BMW M3 E46 next, guys, for like a drift build in this game. Is, um, I want to see how that fares compared to this. Spit of flame, yes. I am the god of Japanese hellfire. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god. Oh, this man. This is, this is so good. It's like nostalgia. It's like playing Need for Speed Underground 2. Obviously, this was made, I think, 2009 or something, 2010. So, yeah, it's a lot closer to the actual time now than Need for Speed Underground 2. I got fucked that one up. <laughs> Yay, we did fuck up that time, yippee! Woohoo, bruh! Woohoo! Oh god! Oh god now. Keep an eye out tomorrow guys, Batman Arkham Knight Part 2 is gonna be coming up. Uh, I'm not doing a let's play on it, I just want to kinda do like a few episodes on it. Um just getting into the game and stuff, so yeah, I'm not doing a let's play on it guys. I'm not doing that, so you can rest your mind there for all of the haters out there saying, oh, we want... Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, my God, man. That was... Take out. Take out, man. Long sweeping curve. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Right, we're nearly at the end of the track now, guys. I want to try and get the best chain link score. Good thing I changed it to third there because I can feel it going. Yes. Yes. That's it, get back into the groove now, guys. Getting back into the groove. This is not bad, man. This car is pretty good now. When I played Forza Motorsport 4 for the first time in that, and when it was out, I never really used to tune the cars. But since I've been playing Horizon 2 and that, the setup from Horizon 2 actually suits these cars pretty damn well. So, yeah, overall, this car is very, very good for getting sideways, as you would all know, since it is a Nissan Silvia S14 so anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed this video sorry if it was quite long but I don't know if you guys uh, enjoy videos like that but yeah anyway that's been the drift video for the Nissan Silvia S14 as I said at the start turn 10 bring this back just keep your fans happy please um, and yeah I'll see you in the next episode guys a like would be much appreciated subscribe to the channel if you do want to see some more and follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well so yep See you next episode, guys. Peace.